Well, update on the truck. I got a good bit of wiring done. I got some running lights. And I got blinkers hooked up. So this truck, whether in stock form or with this front end, or even the truck that this front end came from, um, none of them had blinkers. You can add them in later, but it wasn't something that came with stock. So I had to do a bit of extra wiring. Um, I've been trying to tidy up the wiring on this truck. It was all originally cloth wrap. And that stuff frays. And then it had like a rubberized insulation on it. And that stuff all cracked apart. So there was a bunch of bare wire showing on all the original wiring which is not something you typically want to keep on a vehicle this old so I I have been replacing so there's not a whole lot I did a lot of work under the dash um, the engine harness had already been replaced like when I first got the truck and then I have just also redone the lighting harness. I'm not quite finished. I still got to, I got to change the bulb sockets. Uh, in order to get running lights and blinkers from one bulb, I had to I had to convert my light sockets because my original ones only had one wire. Uh, so I had to I had to take those out. And then this is the the light mounting bracket, and it had a single wire socket in here. And they were either press fit or maybe soldered in or something, but um, one side, this side, I used a big hole saw and started to drill it out and it just popped right out. This side I actually had to chisel out. So I don't know if they're soldered or press fit or what, but I did have to use a bit more force for one than the other. So I'm going to be using this, and I'm just going to solder it in place because these are significantly smaller in diameter, so it, it won't hold itself in there. So i got to solder these these in and then run the wires and then that way I'll be able to put dual bulbs uh, that's, that's what you have to do because you can't put a dual filament bulb into the single wire sockets like even if you changed even if you just changed the, the insulator and you know the spring behind it and you wouldn't have to change the spring but if you change the insulator and and run two wires in your old bulb socket the bulb wouldn't lock in place because it has a different set on it see like this lock is doesn't come down too far and this one does 
on the older sockets they both come down far and on these dual filament ones once one is different <clears throat> so at least as far as I know it seems necessary to have to change the sockets and that was the only way as far as I know that I could get uh, running lights and blinkers so that's what I'm doing I'm almost done with this I've got the majority of my harness done um, need to run these over to the passenger side and then yeah got quite a bit more wiring to do and then I have to do a lot of touch up uh, finish up work on everything and then double check lots of stuff because I've done a bit of work on this and it's been so long I'm not sure what was what was fully completed and what wasn't so I have to go through it head to toe double check everything and go from there but yeah that's just it for today well for the last week or so I've just been doing a couple of weeks really wiring and and last couple of days has been these lights but that's it hopefully we'll get it get her started up and running I'll give a little video of that when I do so From what I remember, I, I built this motor fairly all right. It's not like a powerhouse or nothing, but it should run all right. So we'll see. All right, later.